Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Wix's AI website generator. Now, this is a tool that builds Wix websites fast. You don't need any coding skills, you don't need prior building experience to use it. It's a really beginner friendly way to build with Wix. Um, I have used most of the top AI builders around at the moment. So we're talking Hostinger, GoDaddy, even Squarespace's new Blueprint AI builder. So let's see how Wix compares. I'm gonna pop a link to Wix in the description below if you do fancy giving it a try but first of all let me show you how to get set up with it how easy it is to use um, and my thoughts at the end as well let's go cool so the first step is to head to wix if you already have an account then go ahead and log in if you don't then just create an account it just asks for an email um, it's really easy to get started you can see this is my free wix account um, there's a few sites that i've made in there previously but i'm going to come up here and click create new site. Um, this will automatically launch the AI builder. So um, you can select set up without chat, but this is what I'm here to test. So let's click start chat. Um, so first we're gonna say what our site is about. So I'm gonna say it's a portfolio site, um, sharing images of my art. Um, and hit enter. You'll see that this is a really conversational website setup process. Um, if you have used um, other AI tools, this should feel quite familiar to you. Um, I really like this kind of conversational feel. It feels very natural, um, which is really helpful if you're at the beginning of your um, builder journey, you know, with your website and you're still kind of forming those ideas. It's not really formal. Um, so I'm going to put in the, the type of art. You can see it's asking relevant follow-up questions. So it's taken on what I've told it. Um, I'm going to say that it's um, pet portraits that I am creating. And you can see on the right hand side here, it's going to start um, coming up with a bit of a profile of my portfolio site. So you'll be able to see it starting to come together. Um, it's gonna ask me about my goals. Um, you can see here additional goals like selling um, or attracting commission work. I'm gonna say I want to accept bookings um, and I'm gonna say that I want to share content on social media too. The history of my pet portrait business. So I'm going to say I started selling in person, then moved to social media. Um, I think this is quite a common um, journey at the moment. Um, social media tends to be where people get started online. Um, you might have found that as well. Um, and maybe move to a marketplace like Etsy, eBay or Amazon um, before kind of taking that bigger step to building a full website when you kind of want to take things to the next level. Um, cool, so you can see it's finished asking me questions now. So um, it's created a personalized dashboard for me. Um, and you can see on the right hand side here, it's filled out my profile. Um, it's come up with some goals for me, a target audience. So art collectors, pet owners and social media users. It's not mega detailed, but I would say it's pretty accurate. Um, and it's even suggested some apps for my website already. So we've got a portfolio in there, which is spot on bookings. Cause I mentioned that I wanted to accept bookings and also a blog section, which is really handy um, for marketing. So I'm going to click go to dashboard now to see what comes next. Cool, so you can see it's doing all the work for me. So we'll see what comes up. Okay, so you can see here, it's actually taken me straight to my personalized dashboard. I find this quite interesting because most AI website builders um, take you straight to your sort of uh, template design that it's made you and you can see the kind of visuals of it and it's all very pretty but I find it really interesting that Wix is prioritizing um, the sort of setup and the business aspect of your site I actually find it quite refreshing quite useful so here you can tick off the sort of key steps um, to your website so whether that's connecting a custom domain you can only do that on Wix's paid plans um, it's good to know uh, the free plan, you just have to use the Wix subdomain that you're given. Uh, you can add a project to your portfolio, you can design your website, and it also has an SEO section here. So these are covering like the key aspects of a site setup. I am really keen though to see what it's made me. So I'm gonna go to design site. 
and let's see how it looks. So I'm going to say generate a site with AI because that is what we're here to to try. And you can see there's a fair bit of loading. It's not the fastest AI tool that I've used so far. Um, hosting it and GoDaddy, I think, are the fastest that we've used um, at Website Builder Expert. We are always testing different builders and I think the team would agree that those are probably the, the quickest. Um, I think one of them was like under 30 seconds, which is really impressive. Um, but I like this, you know, it's taking its time, it's thinking about it, which makes me feel like it should be pretty personalized. So you can see it's using the information I've already given it to come up with a site brief. So um, it's giving me a one page website. Um, the content's gonna be generated on my site description, which is good. Um, your site theme will feature classy fonts and an elegant minimalist design in black, white and shades of grey. That sounds quite nice. For an art website, you probably want it to be quite modern. The visual aspect is really important. Um, its layout includes a grid, lines and strokes with a mosaic-like style. Um, and you can see it loading on the right hand side here. Um, so I'm going to have a little scroll through and see what I think. I like the use of the sort of, you know, the alternating black and white is quite smart. Um, I like that it's got services in there that, you know, I did ask for a booking system. So I like that it's got those, um, a nice little kind of image gallery. That's important, ob obviously for an art website. Um, and quite a snazzy footer. I like this. It's got all the key information, a newsletter sign up, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's definitely room here for me to add my own personal touches. So I quite like that. But just for, um, you know, testing sake, I am going to tweak the design. Um, so you can either choose to regenerate completely um, or you can choose to tweak it and it should make different changes based on which one you go for. Um, I quite liked that design. So I've just gone for tweaking rather than completely regenerating. Um, but yeah, let's see what it comes up with this time. Okay, so you can see straight away, this is version two um, and it is looking different already. So if we scroll through, um, it's kind of switched up the black and white sections. It definitely is a tweak. I wouldn't say this is hugely different from before. Um, so that's why I would say start off with tweaking if you're not too happy with the first design, because if like this, um, you kind of wanted a bit of a bigger change, now you could go regenerate and try something completely new. Um, so I am going to ask it to regenerate and let's see what it comes up with this time. Okay, so after having a little play around um, and regenerating my design, I've ended up with this one. So you can see it's very similar actually to the one it had already made me, but I like this color scheme more. It's in more of like a, a cream and green kind of color scheme. I really like this horizontal um, services section. You can see it's very similar with the um, portrait gallery and this bottom um, footer. But yeah, this is the one that I want to use. The only other thing I wanted to show you is that on this left hand side, um, if you click on one of these, you can change specifics. So if you don't want to regenerate your whole design or you don't want to leave it up to the AI um, generator to kind of make those tweaks, if you've got something specific, um, then you can choose sections. So for example, um, I might want to add a contact page and a bio. And then if you click apply changes, um, it will kind of roll those out for you. So let's see how that comes up in the preview. So there was a little bit of loading there. Um, so I just get that out for you, but um, you can see here that the site brief has updated to say that, um, you know, the site structure includes three pages now um, and that will be reflected in the site that we end up with. So I'm gonna click continue with this design once you're happy. Um, I'm going to say continue to the editor because like I said, on the free plan, you can't add your own custom domain. You would have to upgrade to a, pay, a paid plan for that. Um, so I'm gonna click continue to the editor. And this is where you can add the finishing touches to your site. So whenever you build with AI, it doesn't matter which website builder it is. I always recommend um, taking the extra time just to 
um, you know, update the text, add your own images, add new sections, new pages, um, move things around. And it just means that, you know, even though these are some of the best AI website builders on the market and they are really good, um, you don't want to end up with a kind of simplistic or generic looking website, which can happen sometimes with AI. Um, I'm not saying that is the case, but you want to add your own personal flair. You're going to have an idea of your branding in your head and what makes you and your business unique. And I would say really lean into that, um, make the most of it. So as you can see, this is now just adding the final touches to my template in the editor. Um, Wix's editor can look quite overwhelming when you first open it especially after that lovely simple conversational sort of setup uh, where it's doing all the work for you so don't be um, daunted when it opens up this because there's so many features in Wix's free plan just take your time scrolling through these um, as you kind of go to edit your site so it's really easy it's such um, a drag and drop system um, so you can see here, like that's so easy just to start customizing and making it your own. Um, so definitely have an explore and take the time to do that. Um, it is really, really easy. So um, there's even AI generators within the editor, which is a really nice touch. Um, I won't go into it too much now because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but yeah, definitely lean into how beginner friendly Wix is um, and have a play with these tools. They are really cool um, and should save you a lot of time. And there you go, that is Wix's AI website builder. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how easy it is to use, how to get set up with it, um, and how simple it is in comparison to building a website from scratch, for example, or using code. Um, it is really accessible and really beginner friendly. Um, it does all the hard work for you. It's not the fastest that I've used, I have to say. There is a bit of kind of sitting and waiting it for, for it to load and to generate your site, um, but not a massive problem. Um, it's still fast than you know especially if you're a beginner it's faster than picking a template um, and sort of building your website from the ground up um, it sort of skips all of that for you I really like that in that beginning stage it did take me to the dashboard first and prioritizes those sort of key things over the design um, but when it got to the design part I was pretty pleased with what it made me and once you're in the editor there is still AI support for you to use um, that text and section generator is really handy um, and means that, you know, even beginners who've got to that stage should still have no problem customizing a site and making it look really good. Um, if you want to try Wix, like I said, there's a link down in the description there. Um, give it a go. The plan is completely free. There's no hidden costs. Um, you can publish and keep it free as long as you like. Um, and if you are after more information, check out our channel and subscribe or head on over to our blog at websitebuilderexpert.com for more handy guides and reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.